So this is 10 fast knives, meaning I'm going to be going through these knives very fast. This is the Peacock from Remet, and it's probably my favorite Remet knife. It's super lightweight. It does use FRN, which helps bring down the weight. However, this is a very robust FRN. So as far as like a beater knife, this is like an ultimate beater knife. This is something that you're not going to worry about. This is something you can put through its paces. You know, if you happen to lose drop or whatever, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's easy to replace. Beautiful drop point blade. I love that swedge. 9CR18 MOV steel. Decent looking sharpening tool and plunge grind so you can sharpen it and, you know, not have to worry about it looking ugly. Detent is amazing like surprisingly really really good i expect this type of detent on much higher end knives um the ergonomics are good and just all around a fantastic little user sticking with remet they have a new liner lock version of the Rhino. If you guys don't remember they had the button lock version which used a front flipper and Nice thumb studs. I really like these thumb studs. They're they're not only well placed, but they're they're a good size, great grippiness. And these come, or this exact version comes in multiple different colors. So lots of flavors, and they're all in micarta. Now these ones are in G10. They might have micarta ones, I'm not positive, but it has a liner lock now. Some people don't like button locks, so in this case, here you go. And I will say the detent is probably tuned a little bit better on the liner lock than it is on a button lock, even though theirs, theirs weren't bad at all. Um, but the action from the thumb studs, again, nice and grippy, well placed. These are really good thumb studs. They did a good job. You can also use the hole deployment if you want to. These are in D2 steel, and I do have a discount code that I will put down in the description next to the link. So if you do want to save some money, these will cost you about 30 bucks after the discount code. So like I said, everything will be linked down in the description. All in all, super solid knife. The only thing I'm, the one thing that I would complain about is I wish it had a little bit better access to the lock bar. Not that it's horrible, but it definitely could be a little bit better, but the ergonomics are really good it's a great size and just an overall you know nice little beater or good little user now this next one is quite outrageous this is the Sativian ST160 and K110 steel you can see it has a hawk bill dual ground blade I'm not even sure what to make of this thing I don't know if I'm supposed to hold it in the reverse grip or if I'm supposed to hold it in the Pical grip I don't know but it's pretty wicked looking um, you know the hand just the whole shape you know is just very interesting and weird I'm not sure what this little guy is back here I think it's just for aesthetics you do have a good detent. It does flip very well. It's a little awkward in the hand. And then the thumb studs, they also work well. But, you know, again, you know, the shape is awkward in the hand. However, you know, if you're carrying this, I guess, for self-defense purposes, you'd pull it out of your pocket, get to that thumb stud and hold it, I guess, in the reverse grip. Um, it definitely is something that could do quite a bit of damage. I'm not sure about this plunge grind. It's got like a double plunge. <laughs> um, all in all, it's interesting. It's weird. You know, it's definitely not going to be for everybody. But if you're into the wicked cool stuff, you know, the stuff that's not like everything else, this might be right up your alley. G10 scale steel liner lock, decent access to the liner, and it is on ceramic, or it's on bearings. I'm not sure if they're ceramic or not. The Sencut Skeetus. Now this is actually really cool. It's slim, it's sleek. You can see I haven't carried it much because of the, you know, the micarta is not patinaed, but I do like it quite a bit. You know, I just have such a huge knife collection that I can't carry them all, but this is definitely still one I do appreciate. And I think I might start carrying a little bit more because it is kind of up my alley. You know, if you want a, a long, sleek knife, this is a great example. And, you know, it's not so sleek that it's going to be uh, too thin in the hand. You can get a great grip with this. Good access to the lock bar. Very, very smooth. Great detent. Great flipping action. It's not a strong detent. It's just tuned just right. Ceramic caged bearings in the pivot, so it's very, very smooth. Reversible deep carry clip. 
that's inset with flat screws, and the micarta is really good quality. The blade steel is D2 steel. They put a great edge on it, and just all in all, man, yeah, this is a little solid little user that's going to be very lightweight in the pocket. You probably wouldn't even know you had a knife on you. And another send cut, this is the Traxler. Now this one, I actually like quite a bit. So what's really cool about this knife is this blade. So you have a, I know it's a sheep's foot with the spine. It kind of harpoons up and then back down, but it has a worn cliff edge. So this thing has, it's a full size knife and allows you to get very long cuts because the power that you generate while cutting is going to translate all the way out to the very tippity tip. So. It makes it to where, you know, you can trap things, you know, you can trap things, you know, with uh, slicing, with cutting backwards, utility cuts, it's going to work just like a Warren Cliff, you know, it's going to be like a utility blade. So this thing is a very, very useful design. 9CR 18 MOV steel, good quality micarta, TA hardware all the way around, reversible deep carry clip, not in set, but it does have flat screws on the clip. Good access to the lock bar, well textured, very, very smooth. And one thing I love is you can easily reverse flick this one because of how much blade hangs out and because it is blade heavy. And then it also has the flipper tab. That's a very comfortable flipper tab that's also very well tuned. Ergonomics are great and just all around a great user that's not going to break the bank. Next is the Petrified Fish Scaler. Now this does come in a couple different versions, different woods. Um, this one's the darker wood. I, I do have both versions, but it is basically a kukri blade shape. It's a folding little kukri, which why would a kukri be beneficial for a pocket knife? Well, the way this angles up and then back down, it allows the strength of the tip to, or the strength of the spine to come down there to the tip. But that's not the only reason. Also allows this tip to be a lot lower than the center of the pivot. So utility cuts, opening things up, basically the tip is aiming at whatever you are cutting at, no matter what your grip is. So if I wanna open up a package sideways, this way, down, like it doesn't matter. And then this having this little bit of a recurve, when I'm slicing, it's gonna trap materials. If I wanna turn around and trap a, a rope, I can grab a rope with it. I can actually use it almost like a second hand to grab the rope to make sure it doesn't, you know, because with other blade shapes, the rope has a chance of slipping up and around the blade. Not with this one. It does use a back lock, but you can easily use it one-handed. It is riding on bearings. This is some of the best back lock action I have ever felt. The detent is just fantastic for a back lock. Now, you're not going to drop it. You're going to have to push it shut because you do have to overcome that back spring. But you can see, man, it offers a great detent, great ergonomics. Um, the deep carry clip works very well. It's not reversible. That is the one thing they should have done. The blade steel on this is 154cm, which is a phenomenal blade steel for a knife like this. The geometry is a little bit on the thicker side, but you know, this is a nice strong locking system and it is rock solid. So this might be something you can be a little bit tougher on. The Max Ace Raptor in Magnet Cut Steel. Yeah, they're running their Magnet Cut on the softer side, but with this type of knife, I don't think it really matters. This is going to be a self-defense style knife. Now, it does have a little Timascus inlay right here, and then we have a full titanium frame lock. This, these are all titanium pieces. This is not G10, so it's just blacked out titanium. You have the ring, then you have a wave feature and a reverse flicking aperture. So you can thumb flick, you can thumb flick or thumb flick the hole or reverse flick it. But the way it's made is for you to, and this is the way I think you should do it. I don't think this is a knife that's made for the, for the, uh, the reverse grip, even though it is that style knife, I think this one was more designed for the forward grip because the way the clip placement is, you can't reverse the clip. So the clip goes right there. So you pull it out with your pinky, letting it open and then 
flip it forward so that it lands in the forward grip. That would be the best way to use it. From my experience with this knife, that is the most comfortable and the most easiest and the best way, the most efficient way. Also, this circle right here is not the biggest ring, so it's more meant for like a pinky. Um, but all in all, you know, it does have a steel lock bar insert, good texturing on the lock bar, good access, very, very smooth ceramic caged bearings. And yeah, if you like wicked designs, man, this one's actually pretty cool. And this will also serve you well as just an EDC knife. You know, this claw is going to work good for utility cuts. You can slice with it. You can, you know, you can basically use it very similar to the way you'd use any other recurve where it's going to actually benefit you with your cutting purposes. The only thing is you're gonna have to use a small stone to sharpen it. Next, we have another Vosteed Raccoon. Now this one has see-through Ultim scales. There is a lot of options with the, the Raccoon, lots of different flavors from button locks to crossbar locks to different handle materials, different texturings. Um, they recently came out with an aluminum one with really cool texturing. That's probably my favorite one so far. This one, or these, have a very well-tuned detent, or what acts as a detent for the action. You can see the Omega spring in there, the way it compresses when you disengage it, and those springs are pushing this bar up, pushing it behind the tang of the blade, making it a nice solid lockup. Very, very smooth, good access to the, the thumb stud, very ergonomic. This is a, a great user. Um, one of my most recommended affordable knives because of its blade shape, the ergonomics, it allows you to get up nice and tight to the edge or stay back. Um, it has a strong locking system, good action, and you know it's a good size. Good geometry, great blade steel, great materials all the way around. So yeah, the Kaiser, or, the Kaiser Clipper. Now, I freaking love this knife. Now, it does come in a more budget-friendly option in 154CM and Micarta. This one is the 3V version with aluminum scales, but these are still very well-priced. This, this goes for a great value. Um, the ergonomics are perfection. Like, this is just, in my opinion, this is a great handle because it allows you to use it in any way, shape, and form comfortably, even down to the pinch grip. If you want to pinch around the blade to use it, you know, like a utility blade or, or you know, just to have more control, you absolutely can. 3V is one of the toughest steels on the planet. It is absolutely insane. Now, I'm not saying that this is an application where 3V can excel, but 3V also holds a really good edge, and it also holds a fine edge better than it holds a toothy edge. So, and it takes a really good fine edge. This ha does have front flipping action and they did the front flipper perfectly great jimping great traction great size great everything you can do the reach over you can do the side finger you can do the thumb uh, but yeah the front flipping action is great good access to the lock bar super duper smooth on the drop you can reverse flick it um, i love this harpoon style I don't even know what to call it. I'm gonna call it a harpoon style cheap's foot. Um, that's what kind of it looks like. But all in all, man, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal user. And if you had it in hand, you'd understand like just how capable this knife is. The Schrade Truix. Now, the Schrade Truix, I definitely have been very critical over um, because the price was very high when it first came out. Now you can get these for about 150 and I don't think that that's so absurd. Of course, I'd like to see it a little bit lower than that. It's using S35VN with a Tonto blade. These are USA made. Um, it has steel bolsters, steel liners, and G10 scales with a steel deep carry pocket clip. Um, it is riding on bearings and the action is incredible. It is one thing they did very, very well on this. The thumb stud placement, the detent, it's, it's really, really well done. Ergonomics are very good. Um, this is a robust knife. The grind is built like a, a cutting pry bar. 
So very thick geometry. So this is going to be something you can be a little bit tougher on, but they did give you a locking mechanism that will support that. So that's awesome. Um, my criticisms were just that for the price, it was a little bit rough around the edges, in my opinion, using steel instead of titanium. Um, you know, the sharpening tool and plunge grind could be better. And then, you know, the, the blade to handle ratio is really, really weird. You know, that is very, very off. But, you know, the longer I have it, I actually do like this thing more and more. And I have noticed that I, I've actually been appreciating it more than I did off the bat. And it has held up very well. And I do think, you know, all in all, you know, it, it's a solid knife. And I do think anybody who has one, you know, it, it's definitely still a solid knife. I don't think it's something for somebody that's looking for the most extravagant, but somebody looking for a nice beater knife that's made in the USA that, that they can be a little bit tough on. Um, yeah, this is not a bad one. Next is the Hogue Trauma. Now this is a first responders knife. This is for somebody who's wanting to, to have a rescue tool with their, basically a rescue knife. So it has a sheep's foot blade, an N680 steel. N680 is supposed to be like a first responder steel. I don't know how much merit that has. I don't think it holds much merit, but regardless, that's what they advertise it as. Now the sheep's foot blade makes it to where you can get this up and be, you could let this hit somebody without fear of it stabbing them. So you you can cut you know a seatbelt or a rope or whatever without fear of stabbing them the sheep's foot blade was kind of designed for that reason but it also works really good as just a regular pocket knife you know because this is a phenomenal blade shape a lot of knives use that blade shape then it has a belt cutter that's on a double detent with a thumb stud in 440c Oop. the 440c is extremely extremely sharp like uh, it, it's crazy how sharp this is it, it's brutally sharp and it's very easy to get out as I'm messing with it. It's very easy and also very snappy. It actually has a great detent on it and you can see me, you can hear it, you can roll it or just flick it. Now it also has a glass breaker on the back and then and, um, a tool for an oxygen tank. So if you need to turn on some oxygen for somebody, you need to cut a seatbelt, you need to break somebody out, out of their window, this is the knife for you. And it's a nice, tough knife. It has um, a tough build quality. It's 100% USA made. The locking system is a very, very strong locking system. It's easy to get out. You know, and it's a knife that's very comfortable in the hand. And I do truly think that this thing could serve you very well. And um, it's something you could definitely rely on. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's definitely a little bit pricey, but when you're looking for a knife to, to put your life, you know, on the line with, or to rely on when, when things are getting hot, this is definitely a good one. Now I'm going to close this out with a G10 knife. You can buy these. I will link them down in the description. And basically they come completely apart. It comes with TA hardware, which is absolutely crazy. How does this plastic, or sorry, G10 knife get it down, but other companies are still using T6s. Anyways, it is a flipper deployment knife and you basically get it for your child, for your, your daughter or son or somebody you want to get into knives. It helps them learn how to build a knife. It teaches them them, you know how to put one together all the mechanisms it does come with bearings it comes with every part that you would expect from a real pocket knife except done in g10 the hardware is all metal the bearings are real and if you really needed to you could use the bearings for something else because they are standard size but all in all you know they come in different color options and different themes and things like that and it's pretty cool you know it's something like i said to get you know nieces and nephews or or some of your children to get them into knives so that they can learn the real deal on how to handle, maintain, and operate a knife. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.